Jacksonville fire crews were busy this morning putting out a fire at the Jacksonville Metal Recycling Center on Phillips Highway. The fire started at 4 this morning and was not put out until 11 a.m. Dozens of firefighters had to come and put out the fire. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar shows us how this fire created several challenges for firefighters. Sky 4 video showing firefighters hitting hot spots on this pile of recycled metal, the center of attention of an early morning fire that lasted for more than eight hours. There's voids then inside of this pile that our water won't penetrate and get to. If we leave it without putting water on it, then it'll just reflame back up. JFRD spokesperson Eric Proswimmer explaining why this fire at Jacksonville Metal Recycling Center was tricky to fight after tweeting out this picture of it. The fire starting shortly after 4 o'clock this morning and shutting down nearly a mile stretch of Phillips Highway. No one was hurt and no buildings were affected, but the smoke so thick at times, a haze covered the area, making it difficult to even read signs on nearby businesses. This is a, a large pile of metal that's sh sharp, you know, so you got to worry about getting cut. You got to be worried about, you know, various things like that. Just getting to the seat of the fire is the difficult task here. So difficult, between 70 and 80 firefighters were called to manage this three alarm fire. This is one of the fire hydrants closest to the recycling center behind me. JFRD having to pump between three and 4,000 gallons of water per minute to make sure there's a constant flow of water right down on the fire. The fire marshal arriving early this morning to start investigating what caused this. A lot of work needing to be done. We'll get some big heavy machinery in that will move this, this pile around, spread it out so we can douse everything down. So it would not be an issue anymore. Reporting, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.